Hey, what's up everyone? It's Mass Man Reviews back again with a quick video. And this is just an initial thoughts. This is um, from uh, Project Alternative or Perfumologist. And this is a discovery kit. I'm gonna be reviewing the overdoped amber, but I wanted to give you guys a quick look at the discovery kit. So here is the kit. It's a pretty hefty box. open this up you get all these different um, scents that are in here you have two from the Alexa series Alexa and Alexa concentrate those are uh, Ventus interpretation you have instant 668 which I believe is an instant crush uh, nocturnal oud uh, pretty self-explanatory there rouge 666 which is a uh, Baccarat Rouge, another one that is kind of similar. Balarong Bali, I'm not sure what that is. I think that is uh, an original interpretation or an original scent from the uh, perfumologist. Overdope Amber, I believe is a Roja Amber interpretation. And then um, Asylum, which is an Elysium, I believe. The one that we're gonna look at here is this one right here. Overdope Amber, and again the the actual um, sample is pretty generous uh, for a sample pack. I believe it's a, it's about um, looks like a ten mil, uh, but it could be five. I think it's ten mil. In regards to the notes, what you get here is at the top uh, bergamot and pepper. In the mid, you get amber, incense, labdanum, and then at the base, you get sandalwood, agarwood, and patchouli. This is a beastly scent, something that's gonna last super long. In regards to what I get from this, I get that incense and amber. And the incense is a sweet incense. It's not like um, overly uh, smoky. It's it's a, it's a sweet smoky incense, so you get a little bit of smoke, but it's not like a super smoky incense. The amber is really what's super prominent in this, and it gives it a, a bit of sweetness. The sweetness is not cloying at all, but it does lean towards the gourmand end of the spectrum. Bergamot, pepper are not really too. Uh, don't play a big factor in this so that opening with the bergamot and pepper kind of fades away right away but that sandalwood also plays a very important role agarwood not so much patchouli does play a role in it as well so basically what you're going to get is a simple note breakdown which creates this beastly scent and you can tell that great ingredients were used when this was made so the ingredients are, are, they didn't skip out on the ingredients because it first, first of all, it lasts long. The smell is incredible. And, and really, if you like amber, if you like um, smoky scents, this is gonna be the one for you. All right, people, that's pretty much it. Nothing more to say about this one. This is just an initial thoughts. I would encourage you to try this. This is something that I know you're going to like. If you like beastly scents, this one is for you. All right, people, take care of yourselves. Peace and blessings, and I'll talk to you on the next one later.